preparations are in place for those who are caught in the middle. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Satrakio joins us now in studio. Florida National Guard General co uh, currently authorizing about 3,500 soldiers and airmen, their responsibilities. I talked to the Florida Guard this morning as well as the Florida EMA, and uh, what they're telling me is they have a, a several uh, faceted operation going, ranging from obviously uh, rescuing people uh, to uh, probably identifying those that are still there and unfortunately it may migrate to being able to recover people who decided to stay there and perhaps didn't make it but their whole purpose is to supplement existing uh, civilian authorities to be able to save as many people as possible state of georgia by the way about 1500 guardsmen there's going to be separate uh, rescue personnel too besides the guard right absolutely they have uh, obviously red cross and other agencies within the the overall frame of the plan that florida has bringing in not only uh, rescue people from fire departments and so on but other states coming in to do in essence the same thing states like new york they're dispatching guardsmen what about rhode island rhode island hasn't been asked yet as far as I know but New York would probably bring in such things as aircraft some personnel to be able to have logistics supply function to be able to be uh, backfill whatever they need in those areas that were evacuated so we have people going in but if you look at Kendall and Pensacola air bases they've evacuated and they got those planes out of there that's right? a good point Mike you know what happens is the plane is already in effect if they see something coming those aircraft especially the fighters are vacated immediately to another prepositioned place keeping in mind not all air bases have the ability to receive them such as the C-130s and other fighter aircraft have to be specifically going, going to another base to be able to have the, the kind of support we need. You ahead of the Rhode Island EMA, there's always a plan in place. This storm came quickly. How do you implement that plan? Now, the plan is always in place. It's the ability to execute it is what takes the uh, the challenge. Uh, you need, especially with a guard, you can't just say call in the guard. There's a matter of uh, coordinating with the employers to make sure that they can get there on time. Uh, you're talking maybe a two to three day time frame to be able to put the entire uh, plan together as it's written. All right, General. As always, thank you. Thank you.